Marlon Yarbrough put together one of the best college careers witnessed on this channel. And after a very successful college career and an NFL career to be proud of, Marlon Yarbrough finds himself away from the gridiron for the first time in his life. But while staying in shape and training after retirement, he finds himself wanting more. And that's where our journey begins. What's up, people? So I hear you're looking to play a little ball. I tell you what, I'll show you where to find the action in this city. If you can get by this big fella over here. Yeah, that's right. A little straight up one-on-one. -on -one. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And welcome to NFL Street Volume 2 in Own the City Mode here on the PS2. Now, this is a classic game, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Let's just quickly go over how Own the City works. Now, there are four districts to dominate. We start with Marlon Yarbrough and will take over each field in every district. Now, in order to move on, you have to dominate at one field in order to get to the next field. And this time we start at the back lot, which is the darkest field and probably the most challenging to start out this game. Now, Marlon Yarbrough was a receiver at the college and NFL level, and he just dominated with his speed. He was a pretty good technician as well. He didn't play defense, but here in the streets, you have to play defense and offense. Now, some of these guys we're going to go up against are bigger than us, but I think Marlon Yarbrough has the heart. He's had that fire for the gridiron since leaving college in the pro game, and now he's ready to get back to the field. So Exhibit wants to see what we have. So before earning his trust, we had to beat Rasby one on one. The first couple of possessions start out with two tackles by each player. There is Yarbrough with a nice tackle on Rasby. As now he gets his second opportunity here, tries to get to the outside, spinning and will score. One on one, he scores his first touchdown. It's now one to nothing. And after that, Marlon Yarbrough gets a nice tackle in open field. Now he has an opportunity to get to two scores. Yarbrough tries to outrun Rasby. Rasby's got pretty good speed and does tackle him from behind. Now let's see if we can get another stop on Rasby. Nice true string tackle that time. And now we have the advantage here. Possession, and let's see what Yarbrough does. Throws a stiff arm and then falls in for the touchdown. Yarbrough showing that he has the strength. He's been hitting the weight room since retirement, and he does stretch out the ball for the goal line. And it looks like he is in. So now we score our second of five. And now let's see if we can get one more here. 17 seconds to score on this one, and we will get in. Nice little hesitation move, and Yarbrough scores. And we show Exhibit what we have on that little one-on-one. -on -one. Not bad, man. I said I'd show you where the action is, so here. This map will show you all the places where you can find games and tournaments. Listen up. Before you play the tournaments, you need to find some teammates. Play the pickup games to recruit talent. When you have a full team, win a local tournament to leave your mark. Win all the tournaments in the city, and maybe you get to play me and my crew. So we start in the back a lot. Here is our list of events here. We had to play three pickup games, crush the carrier, and then three four-on-four -four games. But first, we had to pick up our team by winning games. So right away, we have some uh, attribute points to upgrade on Yarbrough. He's already got good speed. I want to upgrade his offensive moves. We have good catching, tackling, decent jumping, and then our coverage we want to get up as well. So we select our team here for the pickup game. Right away, what I'm probably going to be looking for is a quarterback. We need somebody to throw us the football, but we'll see who plays the best here in this pickup game before deciding who we pick up. And this, how this works is it, it is seven on seven. So we pick up one guy each, switching off back and forth, us versus the computer, and then we will see what happens. Now, the difficulty we will be playing on is the normal difficulty. This is the default out of the box game. 
So let's see if Yarbrough can get it done in this first game. So we will play 224. There is a two point conversion or a one point conversion we go after for seven or eight points after the score. So let's get into it. Here is White at quarterback starting out under center with the play action pass. Throwing deep down the right side. It's caught by Yarbrough right away. Going at our man. And now we get the first down. Here's a hand off to Schroeder. Nice spin moves. Schroeder's got space. Ian's got room trying to get some of those style points. And he picks up the first down. Now, if you're new to this game, one thing that you should know is that there is a kind of a specialty here at the end of that bar there. Once you get full, it's called a game breaker. Now, game breakers allow you to be kind of invincible, invincible, I should say. As here we throw to the end zone, here is Schroeder, and he has it in the back of the end zone. It's a touchdown out of the backfield. Nice snag by Schroeder. He's really showing off so far. He's on our list to be picked up as well and he makes it a touchdown game as he will try to go for the two-point conversion. Here's White under center, play action fake to Schroeder. White throws behind his back and he's got Brooks in the back of the end zone. It's caught, eight nothing game here for Yarbrough's team. So Yarbrough will play at middle linebacker this game. Here's a handoff to Braxton who pitches it back and it's caught by Greer, it's a touchdown. How about that defensive play picking off the pitch? And we get in for the touchdown. Already a 14-0 14, 14 lead. And how about the big fella getting in? We don't get the two-point or one-point conversion. So our meter is almost filled full here to get this game breaker. As now they have possession back here on defense. Here's Braxton trying to run the ball, but good stop that time. And now we bring him to a fourth and short. They let up in the I formation here on the streets. Franklin under center. He's going to throw to left side. Hardy's got it, but loses ground and will turn the ball over. And we now have that game breaker. Now you see two meters at the top here. As here's a wide open yard in the end zone. Incomplete. You got to make that throw. So fourth down this time, play action fate. We're gonna throw in, that's Yarbrough in the back of the end zone. It's a touchdown. We're gonna go for one here to make it 21 to six. 21 is nothing, I should say. And we get in, and now we use that game breaker. Now, if we had both meters filled up, we would have an unstoppable play, meaning we would have an automatic, probably, touchdown or turnover. But here's a throw across the middle that's picked off by Ray Brooks. Brooks will break a tackle and get tackled. And that's what that game breaker does. Our defense plays great. And now here's a handoff Schroeder for the game. He gets tackled at about the three yard line, I would say. And now we get it to a third and goal. Here is White rolling. He's gonna throw to Yarbrough for the game. Touchdown and we called game a shutout here on our opening pickup game, 27 to nothing. We dominate. How about the game from Yarbrough? I'm not really sure who he will pick up, but I liked what I saw from Ray Brooks. He made a two-point conversion catch. Omar White at quarterback. I was looking for quarterback this first game, but he missed that wide open throw to Yarbrough. So I don't know if I could go with him right away. I might hold out. We have two more pickup games after this one. So I will go with Ray Brooks, the defensive back. Hopefully he will help out our team. He has much better coverage than Yarbrough, and he has good speed as well so that will do it these are going to be shorter episodes this is going to be a little mini series i hope you guys enjoy it and i'm looking forward to playing this game it's a whole lot of fun you can just see we uh, earn 25 dev points and 100 credits which will be used to buy you know gear we can go over all of that in future episodes but here's what we have to do we have to win these two next two pickup games we can edit our players we can't edit the names though but we can edit their gear so we will put the white tails logo on everybody's chest and hopefully upgrade you know yar bro and get his ratings up as well as those dev points can be used to upgrade those so I hope you guys enjoy this series. It's going to be a little bit of a story mode, a little mini series. So hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Ray Brooks is the first guy picked up on our team. So going forward, we will be looking to improve on our picked up team and really just progress in this series. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.
I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride